everyone, Sephira is here and today I'm showing you a speed paint of a painting I made today. So before I started out this drawing, I made a small sketch with the general idea I had in my mind and I picked a color scheme. I can really advise to do this before you start painting because it really helped me to create the final piece because I already had picked out the colors and didn't really need to think about it. So. I started out with taping down my paper with some washi tape because I want to make a watercolor painting. And I also had this great idea to use my masking fluid for this drawing. I actually wanted to show you guys how it works for this video, but I just got so into the drawing flow that I just started painting and didn't really pay a lot of attention to the masking fluid. Though of course I used it in this painting, but not as much as I originally had planned to do. So I just had a good time making this painting and that is the most important part of why I am doing art. I just have so much fun and I feel relaxed when I draw and relieve some of the stress I have and I just really really love doing it. So anyways, back to the drawing. I sketched out the design beforehand very roughly and not a lot of details because I just really wanted to focus on painting and playing with the watercolors and for this painting I'm using my favorite liquid watercolors which are the Ecoline watercolors and I've showed them a thousand times I think in my videos and I just really 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 love them and the colors are just so pretty and I just really like the color scheme I picked for this drawing and the eco line just work really well with blending as well. That's why I didn't use my Winsor & Newton watercolor set because I don't know, I really love the feel of eco line. So as for the theme of this drawing, I so, sort of had this idea in my mind for a siren who comes out of the water and they lure people in, you know, and eat them and they're really scary but also super beautiful. So I just really wanted to paint a lady coming out of the water and with this particular color scheme I thought it would be really pretty because of her hair is a little bit of salmon pink I would say. Um, I just really think it matches so well with the blue teal background. So yes, I basically used two colors for this drawing, however I had to mix them with white ink and the pink is made out of a bright pink equaline with a more reddish color. So I had to make uh, the colors myself and that's something I also really really love to do and I also used to paint over those magic cards, you know, to finish the painting and I just really love to create the exact same color and I also think I'm kind of good at it because it really looked nice on those cards and that's just something I really like to do, to create the same color with traditional media. So besides that... <laughs> I just was drawing and experimenting and I just had a lot of fun doing this drawing and if you see me rubbing on the paper, <laughs> that's me um, removing the, the masking fluid because that stuff is really cool because you paint it over your drawing or well basically I just did some dots and some stripes because I remember using it for the first time and it ruined the paper completely. So I just wanted to start out very, very safe. So in the end you will see me rubbing around on the paper and white spots will appear because you can paint over the masking fluid and you can rub it away in the end and it will leave uh, a white space, which is super awesome. Because I always struggle with those um, white gel pens or white paints, they're, they're never pigmented enough, at least. That's how I feel. <laughs> so I just really wanted to get masking fluid and try it out. But sadly I cannot really show it well in this painting because I was just so much enjoying myself. This, So there probably will be another video of me trying out the masking fluid and give a proper tutorial about it. And talking about videos, I would really really love to have some of 
your input because I just really want to know what you would like to see me do. So I would love to hear what you would like to see from me because I also do digital arts and I do traditional arts and I was actually planning on making a, a beginner's guide for digital art but I was so busy with everything going around and I wasn't satisfied with the video so I decided to do something else and just go free with a nice speed paint video. So you saw me rubbing away <laughs> the masking fluid and that's actually super fun. If you love to peel stuff, masking fluid is amazing. So I guess that's it for everything I wanted to say in this video. And I just wanted to say that if you like peeling stuff, wait for the end. I will peel away the, the washi tape. It's not 100% good peel off, but it's still very satisfying. So if you like watching me peel stuff, wait for the end. <laughs> so for the ending of the drawing, I'm also using um, some pencils to define some lines here and there and I'm also going to use a Posca white Marker for some extra white highlights In the end I could have used the masking fluid But as I said, I was just so into the flow of drawing that I didn't really pay much attention So yeah, I'm gonna end it here with the voiceover and you can watch the rest of the video and especially the end when I peel away the wash tape I hope it's satisfying for you. So <laughs> um, that's it for this week's video. I really hope you like it. And as I said before in this video, please let me know what you'd like to see from me, what kind of videos, what kind of tutorials, a digital art or traditional art. Just let me know. And thanks so much for all the support and I'll see you next time everyone. Bye bye.